only run for 20 minutes, so maybe have your attention. It's going to be a fast um, discussion. It will only run for 20 to 25 minutes, so listen carefully. All right, so I'm about to discuss uh, with you APA documentation style or the American Psychological Association documentation style. So, why do we need to document? Anybody from the class? Why is there a need for us to document? Yeah, lady in red. Two, to, to avoid plagiarism. Why is it a great offense? Why do you think plagiarism is a great offense? Okay, very good. You're taking someone else's work as your own, and that is unethical. All right, it says here in section 4.13 of the student handbook, Guidelines on academic honesty, preparations of papers and other works. Of course, to avoid plagiarism, that's the reason why we need to document. Sorry. Right. All works submitted, such as homework, assignments, papers, examinations, and the like, are expected to be your own work. Students should always take great care to distinguish their own ideas and, and not and knowledge from information derived from sources. Whenever ideas or facts are derived from a student's reading or research, the sources must be indicated. I think this is very clear uh, with all of you and your teachers keep on telling you that you always have to cite sources when the idea did not come from you and you have to cite that person. A student who reiterates or draws on ideas or facts used in another paper must cite that other paper as a source in their own paper. Standard documentation format. Okay, we have Chicago footnote style, MLA or author page style, which um, study about humanities. And then the APA, it's about social sciences. And the IEEE number note style, uh, the program under, under computer science and engineering. Now we're going to discuss APA, the author date style. APA uses only initials for authors given names, so uh, the full last name and the initials of the first name and the middle name. It does not use quotation marks or angled brackets. Uses minimal capitalization for titles of books and articles. Italicizes volume numbers as well as journal articles. And gives page numbers only for actual quotations. These, all of these will be illustrated later in the given examples. In-text citation, what do we mean by in-text citation? What is in-text citation? Anyone? Anybody? What do we mean when we say in-text citation? It is when we cite, cite sources within the text or within the paragraph. These are examples, this is a paragraph. A group of statisticians, for instance, has reanalyzed published data and argued that the compound words claimed as inventions of one chimpanzee are only the results of repeated random juxtapositions. Now, who are the authors? Tannenbaum, Liu, Suda, and White, 1996. So you have to write the, uh, the last names of the authors together with a copyright year right after um, the information taken from these authors. Another example in the paragraph, in the same paragraph, even more damagingly, Pinker, that's the last name of the author, had a copyright year and close in parenthesis, summarizes the skepticism of various and so on. If you would see here, okay, if, uh, if you would see these phrase, it's enclosed in quotation marks. What does that mean? What does it mean when a phrase is enclosed in quotation marks? It means that it is a, yes, it's direct quotation and then you need to write there the page number. If it is a direct quotation, you should be writing the page number where you took that phrase from. Okay, it's a direct lifting of every word or the entire phrase of, uh, of the idea. And this is another author, 
saying the same thing about, about the topic, Zelasco 2006, and so far failed to confirm the results originally, name for children, etc. So never forget the last name of the author and the copyright year enclosed in, uh, in parentheses. How do you write in your reference list? So this is how it's going to appear in your reference list found in the last pages of your uh, paper. Okay, Pinker S is the last name, comma, and then the initial of the first name for the period, and then the copyright date or copyright year, 1994, followed by a period, and then the title of the book, The Language Instinct, How the Mind Creates Language, and then the um, place of publication, the city, and the publishing company. And it ends with a period. Right after the publishing, uh, the, the place of publication is a semicolon. Now if you'll notice, the title is in italic, it's italicized. That's for the title of the book. Next example, here, all of the authors, last name, comma, and then the initials of um, the given names. Okay, and then the copyright here, a re-examination of the record, Peter Singh's creation of compound words, Journal of Biostatistics. If you'll notice here, in the first uh, example, the title is italicized because it came from the book. However, in the second, um, second example, it's the journal which is italicized and not the article title or the title of the art article. The one that's capitalized, uh, the one that is italicized is the title of the journal and then you include the volume number and the pages okay next now this one is taken from um, a, a database or uh, the internet there's a last name copyright year and close in parentheses and then the title of the article and then the journal journal art article the volume number and then the page numbers Retrieved, you have to include a date of retrieval or when was the day that you have retrieved it from the internet or from the net, which is on September 20, 2009, and then that's the, um, the web page or the web address. Next, okay, when citing a book with single author, Okay, these first three lines, these are how you're going to write them with, when you do an in-text citation. Like the, the author is named Smith 2056, so that's very futuristic. Smith 2056 indicated that a recent study by Smith 2056 showed that, or in a recent study, Smith 2056 showed that, and Smith also found out if this author is mentioned in the, uh, in the entire page, when the author is referred to more than once in the same paragraph, do not include the date in subsequent references anymore, as long as the work cannot be confused with others cited. If, however, there is another Smith not referred to this Smith, then you have to mention that other author whose name is Smith. Okay, how do you write it in your reference list? Smith, initials, copyright year, and close in parentheses, the period, the title of the book, Teaching and Learning Higher Education, and then the, public, uh, the place of publication, and then the publication, the publishing company. Initials of given middle names, your publication parentheses, title is italicized, all the first word uh, is capitalized. Also, proper nouns and words after punctuation. So we also capitalize proper nouns in the title. Okay, the place of publication should be city, country optional, but preferably it should be city like Auckland, New Zealand. Books with two authors. Smith and Brown indicated that this is an in-text citation. A recent study, Smith and Brown 2056, showed that 
In a recent study, Smith and Brown 2056 showed that Smith and Brown also found out. Oh, sorry. Now, I'd like to give an emphasis on the use of the ampersand. Here. If you're using it within the, the within the, the, the sentence, you're not going to use the ampersand, but the conjunction end. But if you're going to enclose it in parentheses, then you may use the ampersand. The same way when you write them in your reference list, you may use the ampersand. Okay, that's your, how you're going to write it in your reference list. Smith A and Brown, B2056, and then the title of which is italicized. The place of publication, Vancouver, Canada, and the publishing company. Three to five authors, how do you cite them? First citation, you cite them all. Smith, Brown, and Chan, 2056, found. Subsequent citations, Smith et al. So you don't need to write all names, just the first author and the cover right here. Okay. There is a recent study, Smith et al. 2056. How do you write in your reference list? You write the whole thing, or you write all of the authors. Smith A, Brown B, and Chan 2056 is the title in italic, and then the place of publication and publishing company. Book with six or more authors. When you do an in-text citation, you just immediately say Smith et al. You don't need to write all six or more authors. Okay? A recent study, Smith et al. 2056 found that when the work has six or more authors, cite only the name of the first author followed by et al. and the date, both the first time the work is cited and in subsequent citations. In your reference list, it would appear this way. Smith A, you will have to write all of them, regardless if there are 10. You will have to write all authors. Okay. This one, you might have six or more authors. So you need to write them all in your reference list. Okay, again with book, editor as the author. Okay, that's an example, Dita S, she's the editor, and you need to write it in capitalized E, D, and then period, and close in parentheses, period after. And uh, the cup right here, very future futuristic, that's supposed to be 2016. <laughs> I hope we're still alive by that time. Anyhow, anyhow, so this is, this is the title of the book, Issues in Applied Linguistics and Language Teaching in, in Philippines, A Decade in Retrospect. Manila, the Philippines, is the uh, publishing, um, the city where it's published, and then the publishing company. Multiple chapters in a book. And some of these names may appear familiar to you. Okay, this is an in-text citation, Merlon 2009, indicated that, and then that's how it's going to appear in your reference list. Merlon AM, 20, 2009. Close parenthesis, period, tag questions in Philippine English. And uh, this is the title. However, uh, in a book, it has different, um, with multiple chapters. These are articles actually in a book. And um, this is the title of the book. It's more, it, it, it's similar with a journal because these are compiled articles from different authors. So it's not the title which is italicized, but um, the book or it's similar to a journal. Okay, you need to include the page numbers of that article in that book, and then place of publication and the publishing company. This is another example. Okay, Babu A, 2004, Pakistani English, an overview, they're, they, they're all contained in, in this handbook. So the handbook is the one italicized and not the title of the article. And these are the editors. 
You need to write editors, capital E, D, with an S if you have two or more. Then close in parentheses, and then the place of publication, the page number, the volume number, place of publication, and publishing company. Now with book multiple authors by same author. So how do you write this? Okay. We have the same author, Smith A, Smith A, but different copyright years. This will, um, this one appear in your reference list. Okay. And then this one, this is an in-text citation. When it's, a, when, when it's the same author, you have to write A, B, or C. Like for example, uh, he has this article written in the same year, and you need a follow-up ar article which are related, but you're using them, you're, you're using both in your paper, then you can just cite A, B, C, or um, even if, you, if he has 10 articles there, if you intend to make use of them, then you just write A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay? A book with similar information for multiple works. They all talk about love. But they are related. Love and women. Love and men. Love and gays. Basically about love. So, if, if they're just talking about uh, the same thing, then of course, it's like a synthesis in... in in a thesis, you put all the authors together having the same idea. So they have the same idea, same authors, you just place them all in, in, in the parenthesis um, because they only refer to one thing. Okay, about 10 authors with the same idea, then just put them together in, in the parenthesis. Book one source quoted in another. Okay, this is the index citation. We're now in 2009, as cited in the 2010, argues that. So whose work are you reading here? Is it Borlowen's work? Which are, whose article are you reading here? Okay, you're reading Dita's article, and then you found there some information written by Borlowen, and you want to quote, or you want to make use of those ideas, or, or those phrases by Borlowen, however you read them in Dita's work but you need to cite them both, okay? So this is how it's going to appear in your reference. Okay, we need to speed up. Okay, DITA 2010, this jumps. Okay, so this, this is the title of the journal. This is the title of the article. The page numbers, and you already know those. A place of publication, the publishing company. If it's a new book, you're using a okay, Jones G26 Coffee Memoirs of an Addict. Where did you get it? It was retrieved from the Net Library database. Another one, another example is Brown R2032 The Death of CDs Impact of the MP3 Player. You need to include the document uh, object identification. Okay? Well, all disks have identification, uh, so you need to include that. Journal article, okay, this is another example when you use journal articles. It's the journal title which is capitalized. Here, TESOL journal, you need to include the volume number which is also italicized. Okay, italicized, the title of the journal, not the title of the article. Okay, it's not the title of the article, but the title of, the, or the name of the journal, that's the one being italicized. That format, you, uh, that format is already familiar to you. Next example, it's another one, Metalinguistic Awareness Filipino Bilingual Children. Philippine ESL Journal, again, italicized, together with the volume number, and you need to include the page numbers. Same year, multiple works on the same year. Okay, just like what I've said, you only need to place K there the title and the journal number, volume number and the page number. And then B, just like we discussed a while back, you only need to add A and B there, same year. 
journal article, one author. That's the format. Here's an example. Okay, Smith A, 256, high speed compression for music downloads. Again, the title is not italicized, but the name, but the name of the journal. And with the volume number, also italicized, page number and the DOI or the documentation object identification, document object identification. Magazine article, you need to write the year and the month and the day. So December 15, first is the copyright year and then the month and the day. These are the authors, mid A and Brown B. Title of the, of, the, of the article, and then this is the title of, this is the name of the magazine, New Research International, volume number and the page numbers. Next, newspaper article with no author. In-text citation, this is how it's going to appear in your paragraph or in your paper. Professor to talk rubbish, that's the title of the article. In 2056, reveals that. This is how it's going to appear in your reference list. The title, Professor to talk about rubbish at next Senate meeting. Copyright uh, year, comma, the day, the, the month, and the day. This is the, the, uh, this is the name of the newspaper, Herald Tri Tribune, and the page number A5. Newspaper article, one author. If it, if it has an author, because the, the previous example did not have an author. Sorry. Okay, Smith A, 2056, again, the right year, the month, and the day. Something went wrong in plane crash, experts say it's not italicized. The newspaper is the one italicized together with, um, and you have to include the page number. Electronic article, periodic retrieved from database, is how you're supposed to write it with digital object, the identifier, Smith A, Brown B, 2056, these are standards. Dining out is the title of the article, this is the um, name of the journal, Journal of Museum and Historical Research, volume number, page numbers, and then the DOI or the digital object identifier. You need to include that, if it is available. Now, without a digital object identifier, this is how it's going to appear. Same format, the title, which is not italicized, and then the title of the journal. Volume number, page numbers, and the date of retrieval from expanded academic database. It doesn't have the DOI, so you have to just state the database. Electronic article, internet journal article, is an example. This is how you're going to write it in your reference list. Okay, this is the title, the history of history. And then the title of the article is italicized. Again, volume number, page number, retrieved from. You need to include, you need to include it. I think you also need to include the date. Yeah, the date should be there. Date of retrieval. Okay, no fixed publication date and or is likely to change over time. You're not sure if it's going to still, if you're still going to find it the next time you click the website. So, this is how it appears. Smith & Brown, those are standards. Dining out, history restaurant, journal, page number, a volume number, page number, and the date of retrieval. Okay, for conference presentations, like you have attended conferences or seminars and you, you might have heard some information from the speakers and you want to take down notes of um, those information which you, which you think are important in your paper or you may use in your paper, this is how you're going to cite them. Only for the in-text citation though. Okay, this is an example. That's the title of the article. The copyright year and the month. 
Okay, intensifiers film in English. That's the title of the um, that's the title of the article presented or the paper presented. I mean, and where was it presented? The 16th International Association of World Englishes, and then the country or the place where it has been presented. Conference paper online. So conference paper is found online. This is how you're going to view it in, or is that how you're going to write it in your reference list? Okay, standards, last name, initials, copyright, year, and the month. It's not similar with newspapers, because newspapers and magazines, magazines have the date. But in, in conferences like this, or yeah, in conferences like this, you only include the copyright year and the month. So that's the title. The name of the conference and where it was held, and then a date of uh, the place where the website where you have re retrieved it from. Conference papers which are published. Okay, these are the authors. We use the ampersand and then the copyright year. This is the title: Building Online Corpora of Philippine Languages. This is the title of the conference, Proceedings of the 23rd Pacific Asia Conference on Language Information and Computation. Page number, and then the place of the conference, or the country where the conference was held. Next, thesis or dissertation. We have so many in our library. Okay, so the author's last name, initials, cover right here, a reference, this is the title of the thesis. And then you write unpublished doctoral dissertation and the university. Another example would be that from Brother Andrew Gonzalez in 1970, title, Pampangan Toward of Meaning Based Description. So the title of the thesis or dissertation, their titles are italicized. And then you have to indicate whether it is an unpublished thesis or dissertation. Uh, this one is the end of the, the university where um, the dissertation or thesis has been uh, have been completed. Personal communication, email, or interview. Like for example, you're, you're having um, you're having a conversation with with an expert over the net. It's a personal communication. It's an exchange. It's an intellectual exchange between the two of you. And you might want to quote him. You might want to use the information you've taken from him. This is how it will appear in your in-text citation. Okay, you had a, dis uh, a discourse with a Schneider. You discussed about uh, something, um, something that you may be able to use in your paper. Okay, so this is how it's going to appear in your in-text citation. The risk are greater before dawn, each Schneider personal communication. This is how you're going to uh, write it in your in-text citation. Snyder believes that the risk, you have to write personal communication there and then the date when you had uh, had this discourse with him or this conversation with him. So you need to write personal communication and the entire day, the month, day, and the year. Reference does not appear in the reference list. Okay, but you can cite it in your in-text citation. Okay, I think we only have a few slides here. We're about to end. Electronic source, web page, so those are standard. The author, the copyright date, the title, and the place of retrieval. Which website did you get it from? Organization. We're using um, UNESCO, UN, United Nations, Step Edge. First, in in-text citation, if you're going to make use of organization in your in-text citation, this is how it's going to appear. As a, pre as a recent study has shown, coming from the Department of Education, DepEd, in bracket, and then the year. In subsequent in-text citations, if you will still be using the same name of the organization, this is how it should appear. Step at 2056. Okay, you don't need to write. You don't need to write the, uh, the, the entire. Um, you don't need to represent the acronym anymore. 
the Department of Education. You can simply write the acronym, DEPED 2056. So this is how it's going to appear in your reference. Department of Education 2010, DEPED, your partner in education. This is the title of the article. DEPED, your partner in education, and then date of retrieval. Okay, let's uh, skip this. These are just simple exercises. I think this ends the APA documentation, documentation style lecture. All right. We don't have, we no longer have time for questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ms. Manalansan. Well, if we still have time later after the second speaker, then we might be able to address your questions regarding APA documentation. Our second speaker for this morning is, is also a faculty member from the Department of English and Applied Linguistics. He earned his master's from this university. Uh, he's a good friend and a very good singer. I don't know if he'll sing for you this morning. He might if you listen attentively to him. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Dennis Pilyaporta. Now today's lecture we have a definition of MLA. So MLA is basically um, the Modern Language Association of American Method of Citation and it is widely used in English studies for language and literature, foreign language and literature, literary, literary criticism, comparative literature, and cultural studies. Now um, the lecture that we've seen today will, will come from the seventh edition or the new edition of the MLA. The handbook will be made available sometime this um, term, so you, so you can uh, review or um, get a copy of uh, the parts of the PowerPoint okay, from the handbook. Okay? So what are the changes? Okay, for the seventh edition, okay, um, the, the URLs are not uh, needed to be cited anymore. Okay? However, okay, you should include both issue and volume numbers for all journal articles. Another significant difference from the sixth edition is the use of italics instead of underlining titles. Okay, so no more underscoring or underlining of titles. You just have to put them in italics. Moving on. Okay, the seventh edition also requires inclusion of the medium of publication. So you would have to note if it comes from print, web, or DVD. Now. So these are the basic information okay, from the MLA handbook. Okay, again, this is from the seventh edition. Okay, so from pages one one six to one two zero. Now, as you've noticed, we've omitted the first number in here. So that's the MLA format. You don't have to. If, if it goes beyond a hundred, you should not uh, put the first number anymore. You just have to put the last two numbers. Okay, that are used for the citation. Okay, now. Margins that should be observed for all pages of, of the research paper. So there should be a one inch okay, margin from all sides, top, bottom, left and right. What else? You should double space everything. Again, double space everything, including block codes and citations. I will explain further the block codes and citations in a while. And what else? Uh, the MLA uses the 12 point times new Roman font, again the 12 point times a new Roman font, okay? So, um, you know, okay, this is not, okay, these uh, margins are not uh, the default in Microsoft Word 2007. So you would have to adjust, okay, the setting so that your paper would follow the seventh edition of the MLA handbook. What else? You justify only on the left side of the paper. I'll be showing you an example in a little while. Okay, what else? Include a header with your last name and page number of the upper right hand corner, okay, of, um, of the corner of your paper, as you will see in a while. Again, of course, uh, there may be differences, okay, as uh, regard with the instructor's instructions on how to format certain pages. What else? Indent the beginning of each paragraph by half an inch. Or in some instances, you may just press the tab button 
so that uh, the indention will be automatic. What else? Do not leave any extra space between paragraphs. So only the double spacing will, will be kept um, all throughout the paper. Since it is already double spaced, you should not um, add another space when you move from one paragraph to another. Okay? What else? Center the title and capitalize first letter of all the main words. Main words meaning proper nouns, okay? Prepositions should not be capitalized anymore. So this is an example of how your page should look like. So that's what I've uh, been saying a while ago. So your last name should appear in the upper right hand corner together with the page number of the text. But now, so your name should appear in this one, professor's name, subject and section, the day, month and the year. Your, the title of your paper should be situated in this uh, first portion, okay? And again, you should have a half, a half an inch margin in this section. On a real paper, it would look something like this. So following, okay, the margins again, one inch on all sides, half an inch for the header, so family name, your family name as the author, and a page number. Your complete name, professor's name, section, and then the date. Okay, the date should be followed as the day, the month, and the year. Okay, what else? And this would be the title of your article. So again, only the important words or the main words are capitalized. All the prepositions are written in small letters. Okay. What else? And again, the margins. Now, so a while ago I was saying something like you should only um, align the left portion of the paper. Align the left portion of the paper. So this is how it should look like. You should not touch the alignment in here. So you should um, change the setting in your um, computers, okay? Only align this section, okay? Only this section, not this section. Double space, as you can see. When you move from one paragraph to another, there shouldn't be any extra spaces, okay? No extra spaces. Else for the citation page. So the works cited page or the reference page should, uh, should immediately follow the paper, okay? And it should begin on another page. Meaning to say, if your text ends at the middle part of the paper, do not put the citation page or do not start the citation page on that page. It should begin on another page with the numbering continued in that page, okay? What else? Each appendix, appendix meaning attachments that you'll be using for your paper, it should be placed on separate pages. So something like this, okay? We're excited, of course. Capitalized, double spaced again, okay? And then I'll discuss uh, the details in a, a little while. And as you can see again, the header is followed in here. So in here, the author is Dali, and this is page seven of his paper. Okay. Now, okay, other information. So the page number again in the header would be a requirement on all pages. What else? The page header should be found inside the margin space. Again, one half inch from the top of the page next to the right margin. That's what I have shown a while ago. What else? One inch margins again on all four sides of the paper. What else? Okay, all pages. What else? Excludes, okay, the format back margins. Uh, exclude the page number and the header. Now, um, another important thing to remember. So do not justify the lines of the text at the right okay, margin, is what I've shown in the sample a while ago. So turn off the word processor's automatic hyphenation feature, okay? So this could be found in the MLA Handbook 7th edition, page 116. Okay, what else? Format double space lines throughout the text. Space twice after the punctuation, okay? At the end of sentences. So normally we, we just um, 
what they call this press once at the end of each sentence. For MLA, you have to press twice, okay? Again, you have to press twice at the end of each sentence. And then space once after columns, okay? Only once after columns. Now, for the date, okay? For, for it says a preference for the universal format, so you begin with the day, the month, and the year. What else? In that paragraphs, one half inch, okay, except for block codes. So block codes, okay, are phrases that are uh, um, lifted, okay, from the references. So if it's more than a sentence, then you should block it half an inch more, okay, as you will see in the example later on, okay. Um, other special rules may be found at the at three point at the section at section three point four of, of the MLA Handbook, seventh edition, okay. So block codes are required when a quote, okay, exceeds four lines in your paper. Say for example, five, six, or a par or a paragraph. So as you um, lengthen, okay, the parts of the references that you uh, what do you call this lift from other references, you move the indention half an inch, okay, towards the center. What else? Omit articles, this is abbreviations like corporations and incorporated. What else? Uh, and descriptive words, such as press, publishers, and house. Okay? So in place of that, one side only the last name of the publisher. Say, for example, this one. If the publisher's name is WW Norton, you only use Norton. In the same way as uh, publishers okay, with multiple names. Let's say this one, McGraw Hill, which is a very, very famous, famous publishing house. So you only put McGraw. Okay? What else? Also, use standard abbreviations when possible. Say, for example, association, this one, or SOC for society. What else? If the acronym of the publisher is known, say, for example, for MLA, APA, ERIC, okay, Education Research Information Center, and MScore, JSTOR, and the other online databases that may be found at um, the, the DLSU a library tab, if you click it, okay, then you can use those. What else? Use only UNP when referring to university, okay, or university presses. So when you find U or UP at the end, say for example, of certain publishing houses, it doesn't mean University of the Philippines, it means university press, okay? Just a clarification. What else? Let's now go to in-text citations and reference citations. So, again, so basically the MLA form of citing sources lists in parenthesis, okay? much like with APA, with the exception of the, uh, what do you call this, the absence of the commas, okay, no commas. Okay, so just this one. So, start quote, reflection by the researcher at each stage of the research process can be considered beneficial to the ultimate outcomes of research. Okay, end quote, and then open parenthesis, heck and mole, 22. As you can see, there are, there are no commas, okay, no commas. What else? An example, okay, of a reference for the same source. So we have Heck Hill and Pam Bo. As you will see later on, okay, for the MLA, you will always begin, the first author, the major author, begins with the family name first, and then the name, his first name, and then, okay, the, the complete name of the other authors in the reverse order. Okay, so in here we have family name first, first name, and then in here we have first name, family name, and if you have other authors, Okay, the other authors would be written in the same way, okay? So in here we have, okay, the title of the article italicized, okay? Not in quotation marks, again, for the seventh edition. The titles and the, the journal article names, okay, are not um, in quotation marks, but are italicized, okay? What else? Yes, as um, what I have said earlier on, okay, you would have to note the type of reference or document, okay, it is. So for this one, the document is a print one. So you would have to write print in here. What else? Short quotation, so you do it in this way. According to some, Dreams Express, open quotation. Profound aspects of personality, and quotation, folks 184. So this would represent, okay, the, the name, the family name of the author, plus the page number where you can find the lifted code. Again, there are no commas, okay? Similarly, you may write it in this way, according to folk study, comma, dreams may express profound aspects of personality. 
page 184. So you can use the, the name of the author or and, and integrate it at the first part of the text. Or you may locate it at the end of the text, which is this one. Is it possible that dreams may express profound aspects of personality? Okay, folks, 184. Now, in a locotation, I was saying there earlier on that you would have to indent half an inch, okay? So this is how it should look like. So if this is part of your paragraph, okay, then this is the code. Um, notice the indention, okay, in here, okay? So, again, if this is the last portion of your paragraph, the long code or the quotation should be indented half an inch or an inch towards the center, okay? Half an inch towards the center, as shown in here. And then, okay, the, the citation, the in-text citation should come after the period, okay? After the period, in APA, it is within, uh, it is found before the period, okay? There's, that's a difference. Now, commonly used references, okay? Okay, books with a single author, okay? Since this is a single author, so you begin with the family name first, then the first name. The title, again, of the article is italicized, okay? With um, the place of publication, column, the publisher, okay, comma, the year of print, italicized, and the type of reference, okay? Print. What else? Multiple authors. So Rodman Heinemann, again, as I was saying earlier on, so the first author is written in reverse, so family name first and then first name, and then the others are written in the usual way. So first name first and then family name, including the middle initial, when possible, okay? So again, we have the title italicized in here, and then uh, the same information, so a uh, place of publication, publisher, comma, year, and then print. Other references, so if you have more than three authors, okay, you don't have to write all the authors, okay? So more than three, just put, okay, again, the family name, first name, and then just put that out afterwards, okay? And then the title of the, of the article that you use it should be in italics again. What else? Now, in the, in the event that there's no author, okay, such as this book, so the book is the one that is placed at the beginning and then it is italicized in place of the article, article's name, okay? What else? An organization or institution as the author, okay? Say, for example, this one. So, you put the organization's name at the beginning. In the event, say, for example, that Delasal printed this one, the Delasal University Manila will be found at the beginning of the text. Okay, followed by okay the the title of the book italicized and the other uh, pertinent information. Okay, now article or essay in a collection or a or anthology. So meaning to say, you took one article from a collection of articles. So this is how it should appear like. So we have uh, of course the author's name again since this is just one author. So family name goes first and then first name. Okay, the title of the article. Now this is in reverse, so this is the title of the book, okay? So now for this one, we italicize the title of the book. And the other if, uh, pertinent information, so editors, okay, written in a usual way, so first name first, and then um, family name. Now print journal article, okay? So we again write the name of the author, then the title of the article, so for journals, the journal names are the ones that are italicized, okay, not the titles. Again, yeah, okay. So for journal articles, like with APA, the journal articles are the one of uh, the journal of uh, the journals are the ones that are italicized, not the articles. Okay, like this one. The Hemingway Review, 15.1, 9.95, and then again we have the pertinent pages. And then for print magazine article, so the same uh, format. Okay, we have the title. Okay, and then. The, art, uh, the journal or the magazine italicized, see, no commas, and then the ex exact uh, date, of course, okay? Since this is a magazine, and magazines, newspapers um, should be cited you, okay, using uh, the date, of uh, the day, the month, and the year, since they are published regularly, okay? What else? Newspaper articles, yes, uh, almost a similar um, thing. Now, for online databases, since um, other classes will be using online databases, say for example, M-Score, Eric, JSTOR, Emerald, ProQuest, and the like, okay? So it should appear something like this. Again, as what I've mentioned in the earlier slides, you do not need to put the URL anymore, okay? So we have the name of the author, okay, the title of the article, and then in italics, of course, the name of the journal. 
Okay, the volume, the year, the page numbers. Again, since it is be, uh, over 100, you do not need to put the two here at, anymore. It is understood that it is from 225 to 254. And then the, okay, the online uh, database uh, in italics, JSTOR, the type of material, web, and then the exact date of retrieval. Okay? Publish dissertation. Okay, so we have the name, okay, and then the title of the dissertation, again, with the type of reference, okay? So this is the published one, and this is the unpublished one. So the basic difference would be just the information about the printer, okay? In here, we don't have the information about the printer. What else? If you will access a journal article from other online databases, okay? So we have, again, the name of the author, period. The title of the article, not italicized, okay? And then we have um, the journal article italicized, and then the type, and the online database. Okay, now for internet sites, if there's no author, then you just write, okay, uh, the title of the website, or the article, and then the website itself, and then the year, or the exact date at which it was created, together with the date of retrieval. Okay, whether, a, B, whether you're using AB or MLA, you would have to write the date of retrieval. What else? If it's a personal interview of a person, so you just write, again, the family name, first name, the period, personal interview, and then the date. Say, for example, for uh, since you'll be interviewing people for your uh, uh, Hegel-Ress papers, right? So you code it in this way. Now, okay, for, for tables, okay? So refer to the table that's corresponding to rule in text. What else? Do not capitalize the word table, okay? What else? Situate or put the table near, okay, near the text to which it relates. What else? Align the table flush left to the margin, okay? So it should look something like this. If this is your text, okay, you can see, see table one, so inside parenthesis, not capitalized. And then you have a table in here, a description, so no periods, okay? Only the main words are capitalized. And then you have a table in here, and then you have a footnote in here, the source, okay? At the bottom of the table, okay? So label the table and provide its corresponding Arabic number, like this one. What else? On the next slide, provide a caption for the table. So this is the caption, or the title. And then, of course, place the table below the caption, flush left. So when, when we say flush left, so it is aligned in this way. Okay?